I'm Gracie from Backstage Features. It's so nice to talk to you today. Nice to meet you. Yeah, congratulations on season two of Carnival Row. The show is amazing. I'm wondering, what was it like coming back for a second season of a show that's grown such a strong fan base? Uh, It was a dream come true, honestly, to be handed the keys to the Ferrari um, and say, hey, what would you where would you like to drive this this vehicle and uh so it was it, it was really fun to be able to design a a new story building off of the end of season one yeah and i know you've worked on a lot of very successful shows i'm wondering was there a specific aspect that drew you to want to be a part of this world and bringing it to life um, well, I think the the blank slate of being able to tell a meaningful story against a pre-existing lush world with amazing cast, amazing uh, fantasy elements, all, all of those things add up to a a a, a writer's dream uh, in terms of being able to say, okay, well now let's figure out what do we want to say that's meaningful with all of these toys, right? And so. For the writers and I, we came up with the idea that the show would be centered around the idea uh, that of a question, a controlling idea. Um, are we defined by our DNA or are we what we choose to do once we have a vote? Uh, are we you know, defined by our choices and our actions in life or by our parentage of the people who, you know, uh, birthed us in some corner of the world and we had no vote in that, right? So so all of the different kinds of characters in the show are living through that experience. And and that's, that was a very interesting question. And then when characters like that encounter different forms of social injustice, what is the proper way to, res- to respond to that? Is it to take up arms or, or act violently? Is it to try to work within the system and change things for the better from within its confines? Those are those are the different kinds of um, um, ideas that we explore through the different actions of the different characters in this really fun, complex, lush world. And as a writer, looking, you know, living through what we've lived through over the last, you know, several years, you're kind of like, well, I want to make this thing mean something. So let's start asking the big questions. And don't worry, we're not talking about, you know, domestic U.S. politics because they have horns and they have wings. We're actually like. You know, so so it, it, it it's the magic of writing within fantasy and the power of parable and and people's guards go down and you can start to ask provocative questions about things that we're all living through in real life. But the minute, you know, some writer tells you what they think, you're like, oh, shut up. But when you're watching fairies and, and centaurs and pros and, you know, and human beings struggle through some of those same issues, it's kind of the the, the entertainment as as vehicle for political thought is 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 one of the things that I love about my job. Mm-hmm. And I mean, talking about that, adding on to this world is a huge fan base who is super immersed in this universe. I'm wondering, do you have a favorite or most memorable fan encounter from your time working on this? Um, not on this, really, um, because it, it, it like certainly like their fans or in general. <laughs> um, well, well. Um, like when I was working for Marvel, the I had the cast, uh, or I found, I'm sorry, I was distracted with something off here. When I was working for Marvel, I, I once found a fan going through our garbage outside, um, you know, trying to find scripts that I was working on. But, th- you know, that was pretty memorable. But um, but no, this this has been more calm. But I'm very excited to meet Carnival Row fans when when this thing ends up coming out. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, if you could describe this season as a whole in three words, what would they be? Epic roller coaster. Okay. And have you guys thought about possible spinoffs for certain characters or is this the end for fans? For right now, this is the end. For right now. For right now. So there is a possibility for fans in the future. I'm not saying that. I'm not not saying that. (laughs) How about that? I won't get you in trouble. <laughs> but what was that like getting to work with this cast and getting to see them kind of develop their characters from season one to season <coughs> two? Um, well, I have to say, like, you can totally see why Orlando's a star. Like, he's so magnetic and diligent and hardworking. And Kara has real acting chops. She's she's a she's a very she's just an interesting human being. She's you know got so many things going on in her life. 
Uh, and and that was really interesting. She pushed the, her character into into new directions and exploring sexuality and identity, and and she was very inspirational in that way. And I like we we had a huge cast, but you know going through all of them, it was it was really it was really fun to work with each of them individually um, in their in the development of each of their characters. And one of the things that I sought to do was to have face-to-face -face meetings with each actor. Like for instance, Simon McBurney is a legend of the UK stage and screen. So I'm kind of like, wow, I get to like go hang out with Simon McBurney and talk about his character arc. And then Carla Crome is not just a great actress, but she's also an amazing writer. In an, she's writing a show, right? She's creating her own show. So, so that was a whole different kind of collaboration. And then, you know, Tamsin and David, you know, soulful actors and then, you know, like Andrew Gower was like an actor's actor. Everybody wanted to have scenes with him because he was just so amazing to in, in the moment uh, of the scenes. And then, of course, I brought my friends Joanne Wally and 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 Jay Lee over from Daredevil, and it it, it was it was really fun um, to to b bounce this ensemble of of great characters off one another and. I think it shows on screen. I, I think it shows, hopefully the viewers will agree, but we had a lot of fun making it. Yeah, I definitely agree. There's been a lot of growth and a lot of storyline plots. And I'm just so grateful to have gotten to talk to you today. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you so much.